Hi, I'm Ryan with Holly EFI and I'm here to tell you about the new Holly EFI version 6 build 200 release. The firmware update has been improved to now take about three minutes or less when using the USB. Previously, this was almost a half hour affair on some ECUs, so we've really uh, we took the effort and listened to everyone and made sure to speed that up. Uh, one of the first things I want to show you today is a couple new base calibrations we added under the base cals folder. We've now split them to VE based and pound per hour based and the new calibrations are the VE based ones. A lot of these are based on the Terminator X calibrations we've been using. Uh, we've had a lot of great response saying that people love the wizard cals so we've kind of pulled some of that into the Holly EFI line. We've also added a new email global file and save to desktop option. The email global file option will take your open calibration and log and it will ask you to attach them to an email. Uh, this only works if you have a client like the webmail or the Outlook on your computer. If you don't have either of those, you'll be able to go to the save to desktop option and it will automatically zip up and save the currently open tune and log and put them on your desktop with a name. Also with this release, we now install your 3.5 handheld, 7-inch, and Pro-Dash firmwares in the firmware folder so that you have them all after installation. We've also added a new option to the water meth ICF called Injector Duty Cycle. This new mode drives the solenoids a little differently and is actually designed for use with a large injector like a billet atomizer for charge pipe and drag racing applications. We've also added CAN-IO support for the upcoming release of the CAN-IO module. We've gone through and added a few new injector options and reordered things to be a little easier to find. Also we've added under the help a check for update option that in the future when a new version is available will automatically download and install for you if you select. You can set it up to automatically look for the update every time you open the software. That's turned off by default, but if you'd like to use it, you can go to Toolbox, Preferences, and select the Automatically Check for Updates. When making the updates, we also chose to, under the TBI injection type, add some of the Terminator X options so that you can take a Terminator X Stealth throttle body and use it with a Dominator or HP ECU going forward. Among the firmware updates, we made a couple changes based on racers' feedback for the Nitrous. One of the changes is we've now added a longer delay to the master enable, meaning that it is less likely to falsely trigger and reset the Nitrous systems. It'll now take a tenth of a second before the system will reset or turn off. This is to help prevent false triggers and resets of the Nitrous system. Also, we've added under the advanced ICF, when you are taking a progressive system and modifying it with an advanced table, Previously, only the nitrous solenoid would adjust and your dry fuel would have to be handled in an advanced table. This change will cause your tune-up to change if you are already doing that in an advanced table and you need to take care to make sure you adjust appropriately. Also with this update, when you install it, you'll see in the firmware folder that we now include the 3.5, 6.86, and 12.3 Pro Dash and 7-inch Digital Dash firmwares along with the Build 6 200 firmware for the ECU. Finally, there's a whole host of other small software changes and tweaks that we've made. If you want to know more about them, check the release notes included in the installer. They can be found in my documents Holly folder. They'll be under V6. And you can see it will say v6updates.pdf. In that, it has a complete list of all of the updates and fixes we've included in this new Build 200 release of version 6.